y'all. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. The Southern Clairvoyant. My name is Patty. I am so happy you are so I hope here. I found this video very relaxing and motivational. So I think I'm going to get started. I think I'm going to take everything off of this shelf and dust it first. Yes, this is real cotton in this that I picked. There's a huge cotton field behind my house. Mod podged these on. This is just a napkin, and I mod podged it onto a wooden box. <laughs> yep, that's what that is.
got this for my daughter on her first birthday and I still have it. <laughs> Now, most of you will probably be wondering why <laughs> I have bunnies out at Christmas time. Well, they were my mother's, and I just, I can't find it in my heart to put them in a box. So, I just, I leave them out, and I just play them all year. I can't help it. <laughs> like I said, I can't bring myself to put them away. I just want to keep her memory alive. My mother passed away from skin cancer. So, I think these came from Cracker Barrel. They're really heavy. I have four different colors. <laughs> that yellow and this pretty orange. And I have this real pretty pink one. See? And then there's this blue one. <laughs> But they fit right perfectly in these little, I don't know what these are. I got these at Cracker Barrel. But, oh, and I have this green one as well. <laughs> I have all these little eggs. <laughs> and I have this cute little glass egg. <laughs> Yeah. All this looks like um, Easter decor, but <laughs> this one, <laughs> the snow globe. Look how pretty. And it plays music. I got this for my daughter. I can't remember what birthday, but I still have it. I mean, she was real little. She was probably three or four, so. But yeah, I keep all this decor out all year round. these cute little I don't know where these came from probably honestly the Dollar Tree like years ago honestly is probably where those came from look how cute it's like a little snow bunny I keep I keep him out all year <laughs> these were probably popular back in the day <laughs> I made this. I made this one. And I made this one. It's just popsicle sticks stuck together and decorated. These came from Cracker Barrel, and they're just little salt and pepper shakers. Look how cute. <laughs> and these, these came from Cracker Barrel. <laughs> and these, 
these are little salt and pepper shakers that came from Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Yes, I have more bunnies to clean. <laughs> yes, this belonged to my mother as well. Look how cute. It's got a little swing. This is the cute little bunny teapot ceramic. She kept this out all year, so I take good care of it. I'm just gonna kind of dust it off a little bit. Now, it looks like it has all these little cracks in it, but it's it's made that way. <laughs> See, it's just made that way. <laughs> but I take good care of this. I want to take care of all her things. This belonged to her as well. It's just a pretty ceramic piece. It looks all Easter-y. It's got a lot of detail to it. And there's like a globe in it. When you shake it. <laughs> it's like little sparkly things. <laughs> moving around in there but yeah I think I'm gonna clean that with glass cleaner but yeah I'll leave all this stuff out all year These, oh my goodness, these are so adorable. These cute little garden bunnies. I leave these out all year. Yeah, these were my mom's. I'm not sure where she got these. I'm not sure. She's had them forever, so... just a type of resin like a plasticky they're not really ceramic and then this part's metal some of it is <laughs> not all of it this one this little bunny's ears broke but that's okay I still keep her around I'm not gonna get rid of her it's fine I keep her kind of hidden in the back. <laughs> so. And these are little salt and pepper shakers that came from Cracker Barrel. I just thought they were darling. So. I just keep those out. With the other bunny stuff. The other bunny decor. And. These items right here, this little garden, it all came from Dollar Tree. But, like I said, I keep those out as well. 
This is just another little salt and pepper shaker from Cracker Barrel. And he came from a set that had like a little village, like a little Easter village. But I keep him out all year and I put the Easter village away because it lights up and everything. I just don't have room for it all year round, but I do keep him out because his little fishing pole, it broke. So I don't want to pack him away. <laughs> But look at the detail. Look at his little hat. <laughs> so cute. Little cabbage. <laughs> and this little guy. I think I forgot to show you guys this. Look how cute this is. It came from Dollar Tree. I love anything apples. It reminds me of my childhood. Remember all the famous apple decor that everybody used to have in their kitchen growing up? Or fruit or fruit bowls or... I remember that and I remember those blue ducks or geese or what have you. Comment down below if you know exactly what I'm talking about, if you grew up in that era. In case you're wondering what my shirt says, look. It says Elk Creek Bridge, Delbert, West Virginia. A good place to call home. <laughs> That's where I grew up. In the great hills of the great Appalachian Mountains in the heart of West Virginia. I moved down here to uh, South Carolina. This is a really old antique look at that look at the detail on this and yes it has a little chip in it but that's okay look how cute looks like a little German village <laughs> I love this it is very old and this this used to be a fountain but it doesn't work anymore. But I still keep it as decor because it's Noah's Ark. I love it. Just look at the detail. This is really hard to clean to get in some of the grooves. So I just kind of wipe it off here and there. Sometimes I take a little 
child's toothbrush that I buy from the Dollar Tree and I'll go in and I'll hit some of this some of these little hard to reach areas from time to time just very delicately but yeah look at the detail in that look at that I love this I wish it still worked but it doesn't And of course, I have all my little bells. <laughs> I think this one's a Linux. I'm not sure. This was my mother's. But look at the detail. Look how cute. And I love this. This is an angel holding a little child, a little baby. <laughs> it's so adorable. Um, it says it was fifty nine fifty on the bottom. So honestly, I don't know where it came from. Honestly, I probably got it at Goodwill <laughs> for probably a dollar. I've had this since I was a child. Yes, it's very old. I have this bell. <laughs> it says West Virginia it has a deer on one side and a bear on the other. But I actually, I found this at Goodwill. So, I'm not sure where it came from or who owned it or anything like that. And this one says, so in love. <laughs> And this one, this one was my daughter's when she was little. So, I do keep really good care of these items. This little angel's made from wood. Look how cute she is. <laughs> so adorable. It says the willow tree on the bottom. I don't know. I have this angel. She looks like a teacher. Honestly, a student probably got this from my mother. My mother was a teacher. And my dad was a principal. He started out as a band director when I was real little. He was... um probably a band director until I was the age of three and then he went into principal I've had this since I was a teenager this was mine it's very old very old hmm. I was probably I don't know 11 or no I was probably 13 or 14 when I got this. This is old. This came from SeaWorld. The Shamu. Souvenir I've had forever since my teen years. <laughs> so. This is very old as well. It's just a little trinket box. <laughs> A little cute tea set that has grapes all around it they're like embossed there's nothing on the bottom so but this is also very old this is my preteen years I've had this little angel 
she's not got a chip or anything in her she is not chipped or anything you guys i've had her so long a cute little yellow bow in her hair <laughs> i love bows <laughs> And this item right here yes <sighs> so cute it's little bears and this is chipped yes I know but I've had this since I was a teen and I absolutely I love it Cute little carousel. Not sure where this came from. Probably Goodwill. This cute little plate. It's got all these cute little buttons on it. It looks like a, a quilt pattern. I just I love it. She has a cute little bee on her shirt. <laughs> it's just adorable to me. It goes with this little bee right here that says be happy. <laughs> Gonna dust this off a little bit. The wings on it are just darling. They move. But yeah, I've had this since I was real little. It says March. That's my birthday month. Yes, I'm an Aries. <laughs> I think my grandma, Fanny, Fanny Lee Master, I think she's the one who got me this when I was little. I used to collect these little angels when I was, you know, real young. Four, five, and six years old. These little porcelain dolls, and they're, they're really old. But I've had them ever since. This is honestly, this is a, a ring holder. You put your rings on here, but I don't use it as that. I love it. It says be a meological <laughs> and it's a kitty unicorn. I love it. I keep it in my decor. But 
this little kitty right here. <laughs> Look at her blue eyes. Isn't she adorable? This little kitty. And this right here, this set of unicorns right here. One of my best friends, Sonia Hammond Smith. She got these for me um, one Christmas. I'm not sure of the year, but I know it was before I turned 16. So, that little kitten, and then this set right here. That's from her. <laughs> I've had them for that long. This is a music box as well, but it was my daughter's. It sounds like it needs tuned up, you guys. But I just, I love the details of it. It's so pretty. And It's very heavy. This was a... Now it's going to work over there. <laughs> now that I've set it down. But it sounds so out of tune. This was a fountain. But it doesn't work anymore either. It has um, cute little kittens. With a little rustic looking picket fence. With all these cute little roses <laughs> so i just keep it as decor look how cute <laughs> but yeah it doesn't work anymore and this right here i'm not sure where this came from i don't even know what that says but it's very heavy and i just I thought it was just a cute little kitty cat. And it matches all my other little decor, so. Isn't this so pretty? My mom made this when I was real little.
So I wanted to share this with you guys. I've had this since birth and it's a planner. It's been broken quite a few times and re-glued back together, but it's old as I am. So I'll be 52 years old in March and this is from my grandparents, Fanny and Bryce Lee Master. And of course it had a plant in it <laughs> and it was sent to the hospital where I was born in Huntington, West Virginia at Cabell. So yeah, it's really old. And this one was my daughter's planter at her birth. <laughs> and I've had these cute little booties for quite a while. And this was from my parents when I had her at the hospital 28 years ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can't believe she's that old. <laughs> this is her piggy bank. And it has a penny in it. <laughs> this has my first piggy bank on it. <laughs> this was my daughter's. She's had this since birth. I think a church sent this. I'm not sure. But the water is evaporating but that's okay this is another planter and this is the last item on that shelf my grandmother made this this is a handmade ceramic and it says patty and it plays music I think you have to set her down Oh my goodness, it's so out of tune. It's, a, it's happy birthday. She hand painted it and everything. not sure where I got these. I think I got these big old things at Rue. Rue 21. I'm not sure, but they were cheap. I got them for like 50 cents or something one time. Dreams don't work unless you do. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? But yeah, I'm pretty, yep, it says Rue. Rue Decor. This is not cheap. This is still like the tag on it. I just, I don't know. Never finished peeling it off. I don't drink out of these. I just use them down there at the bottom. The bottom shelf as decor. <laughs> I like the cactus. Look at that. Stick together. <laughs> That's right. Stick together. But yeah. They came from Rue. I remember. And this one says, girls can do anything. <laughs> I think, honestly, I just like the roses on them. Not sure. But yeah, it says Rue Decor. And I made this. Yeah, that's a lotion pump. And I made this out of rocks and... Of course, hot glue. It's just hot glue. That looks like water. And this is popsicle sticks. But yeah, I made this little fountain a long time ago to go into my fairy garden. Oh no. And yes, some more salt and pepper shakers. 
these um these came from Cracker Barrel when the pineapple stuff was real popular but I just I loved the color I love this like melon color yep that's where these came from and this little salt and pepper shaker came from Cracker Barrel the cute little truck and camper <laughs> Matches all my decor. And of course, the little cactus. Um, these came from Cracker Barrel. Yes, I collect these. <laughs> Maybe one day, if you want to see my collection of my salt and pepper shakers, I can get them out. I need to get them out and clean them anyway. But if you want to see a video like that, comment down below that you want to see the salt and pepper shakers. I made this as well. I made this a long time ago. It's just a cute little whale. I made it out of, of course, popsicle sticks. shelf looks so good and shiny now thank you so much for joining me today if you want to see more content like this don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and i love you guys so much until the next video peace